Hey guys, Right to Mayor Jerry here. So basically, uh, over the past few months, hell, the past few years, I'll get a lot of questions from first time gun owners, from women asking me, what is a good first gun? What is a good starter gun? What is a good gun for women? And although I feel like I cannot completely answer that question because people have different preferences, I have found a gun that I think is actually a good all-around gun for first-time gun owners or women who may not have as strong hands, or hell, even men who may not have as strong hands to be able to manipulate a firearm. So in front of us, we have what is called the Smith & Wesson M&P9 Shield EZ. The Smith & Wesson M&P9 Shield EZ. So basically what Smith & Wesson said was over the past few decades, we've had a lot of complaints regarding our customers being able to manipulate our guns, our customers being able to strip our guns, our customers being able to load our guns, et cetera, et cetera. So Smith & Wesson created a gun that is exactly how the name describes. It's easy. It's easy to eject the magazine. It's easy to fire, it's easy to field strip the gun, so on and so forth. So I'm going to do a review video of this gun because honestly, I think that this is one of my favorite guns over the past two or three years, especially for new gun owners. So as you can see, when you look at the gun, the first thing that we'll do, of course, because safety is always first, is we'll make sure that this gun is not loaded. So as you can tell, the gun does not have a loaded magazine and then I will rack that slide to make sure that there's not a round in that chamber. The gun is empty. Awesome. From there, um, I'll just point out a few things about this gun that I find unique, that I find interesting. I'll load the firearm to show you how easy it is to load, and then we'll take it to the shooting range to shoot it just to get a better grasp. And I actually have someone that is not me shoot the gun, so then you can see that an inexperienced shooter can manipulate and fire this gun relatively easy. So when you look at this gun, the first thing that stands out to me is this gun has what is called a grip safety. So essentially what a grip safety is, is it's a safety that is on the grip of the gun that says that if this part of the gun is not squeezed, the gun will not fire. So you'll have the gun in your hand, you have to squeeze this to actually fire that gun. Now, if the gun, this grip safety isn't squeezed and you try to pull that trigger, the trigger is not going to pull. So if you have children or whoever irresponsibly gets access to this firearm and they try to pull that trigger, it's just one extra step to make sure that gun is not accidentally fired. A lot of my students have children. A lot of my students have untrained firearm users that are going to be around their firearm. So for whatever irresponsible reason that their gun isn't locked up when it's not on them, it's just an extra precaution that will hopefully be able to protect them or their families. The second thing that I notice about this gun is it has what is called by Smith & Wesson a tactile loaded chamber indicator. So essentially, since the gun is not loaded right now, that, that indicator isn't activated. But if I load around into this gun, and I rack that slide, that indicator is now going to show. So as you can see, this indicator is up because there's a round in this chamber. If I were to pull this trigger right now, I'd blow a hole in my mother's china cabinet. So it's just an extra precaution as far as safety is concerned. And I'll actually rack that slide to make sure that that round is out that chamber. Now that indicator is down. Tactically speaking, I don't think that that's gonna be very useful. Right. I don't really necessarily, you know, when you're talking about the effects of adrenaline and the physiological responses to a life threatening situation, if you're in a gunfight for your life, I honestly don't think that you'll even remember that that's there. Um, you're not going to be on your last round, fire it, and then you're like, oh man, the tactile indicator is down. So now I have to reload my fuck out of here. Right. Like, I don't think that that's going to be useful tactically speaking. But if not for a tactical reason, I think that it's just a good safety precaution. Stripping this gun is relatively easy compared to some of the other guns that I've stripped. All we're really doing is just racking this slide. Now that that slide is 
resting on that slide catch right there. And then from there, you're just gonna take uh, push that takedown lever to the six o'clock position. And then one of the things that you're gonna wanna make sure that you don't do, which I did quite a bit when I first was trying to take this gun down, is you don't wanna push this grip safety in while trying to push that slide off because it's gonna make it difficult or you can't do it. So all you're gonna do is you're just gonna push this button down, the slide catch, and then the slide comes off easy as hell. So, you know, another feature, the slide is easy to, the gun is easy to take down. You know, you have some other guns, you know, such as your Glocks that you actually have to pull the trigger to take the gun apart. You don't have to do that shit with the Smith & Wesson m and Shield Easy. Once that slide is taken apart, you have the recoil spring. You'll just take that off, boom, recoil spring is out. And then you can just take the barrel apart and now your gun is disassembled for cleaning. You can go in there, you can clean your firearm, etc., etc. Putting your firearm back together is still relatively easy because all you're doing is you're just taking that barrel, sliding that barrel back in there. One thing that I noticed with the recoil spring is if you look at the recoil spring, it's not a full circle, right? It's very, uh, you have two flat ends and then you have kind of a round part. So you just want to make sure that when you're putting that recoil spring back together, that when you're putting that in the frame, you want to make sure that the flat part is going to be not in that groove, right? You just want the round part of that spring to rest. Otherwise, that slide is not going to rack. And I'll show you in a second. So now that I have that recoil spring in there and it's resting, what we're going to do is we're just going to put that slide back on there and it should just slide on that frame relatively easy. Boom. So now I have that slide resting where it was a minute ago. I'm going to push the takedown lever back to the three o'clock position and I'm just going to rack that slide and now my gun is good to go easy as can be guys i've taken apart um, a few guns you know in my life and that is by far the easiest one i've ever taken apart you don't have that nervousness about the gun where you're really worried if you have to pull the trigger and you know you're inside your home etc etc i didn't pull the trigger once i took that gun apart i put it back together that took all of 45 seconds maybe a minute Another nice aspect about this gun is it has this easy magazine load, which essentially you have the magazine right here. There's a little button that you can push down to help you load the firearm. You'll notice that a lot of 22s have this button where you can just push this down to load your magazine. And I always wonder, well, why don't they do that with a nine millimeter? Well, Smith & Wesson came and did it. So to load that magazine, all you're really doing is you're just pushing this button down and you're gonna set that right, round right on top of it, right? You're gonna push this spring button down. You're gonna set that round right on top of it. You're gonna push this down. You can set that round right on top of it. Easy as can be. You know, if you don't have a strong hands, and my hands aren't that strong either. You know, I've been dealing with firearms for a while now and my hands still aren't as strong as they could be. So this is really relevant um, and very convenient for me to have as well. So you can push that button down load that magazine to load your firearm essentially all you're doing is you're putting that magazine into that magazine well easy as can be now your gun is good to go now that magazine indicator is on again if i were to pull this trigger i'm blowing a hole in my mother's shiny cabinet so that's just another cool aspect to the gun to have that i mentioned earlier and then when you're loading it that magazine button is easy to push you wreck that slide to get that round out of that chamber and you're good to roll so just some basics about the firearm that I think are really convenient. Now we're actually gonna take this to the range. I'm gonna have an inexperienced shooter load this firearm to show you how easy it is to load an inexperienced shooter shoot this gun. And just to kind of show you that I think this is a very good gun to have if it's your first firearm, if you're just a introductory level type of shooter or if you're a woman, you know. All right guys, so right to bear Jerry here. This is Kalia. Um, she's actually gonna load the Smith & Wesson uh, M&P Shield EZ, just to show you how easy it is for her to load the magazine and inject the magazine and rack that slide to get that round ready to fire. 
Look at her go. Good enough? Yeah, perfect. Nice. You know, All right. So, you know, just taking a look at this. Gonna keep putting these videos out. Thank you guys for your time. We'll go to the range next and then we'll continue. As always, pick the guns up. Stop.